And we are live, right? Yes, we are live. Okay, I'm here. I haven't done this in a while, being in the garage. Hopefully, well, this is probably gonna be forced to be one of my last times really getting to enjoy my arcades in the garage. It got up to 90 degrees today here in Texas, and uh, it's a dry heat, as they like to say here. Well, they don't say that here much, but they say it, uh, you know, other places. It was actually dry, though. It's like 14% humidity, so it's way more bearable than like 90 degrees and ridiculously humid. The wife and I did a nice bike ride earlier today. It was nice for a while, then my butt started hurting so bad. Like, she did like, I think we did like 20 miles. It was brutal, but anyway. That was on a mountain bike, by the way, not a road bike. So anyway, we got, we've gotten to hate, you've gotten to hate her here. Pizza's on the way, nice, Encore MPW. Uh, Everett Show, Adidas 1984, fellow, I believe fellow KI owner, if I'm not mistaken. Mr. Urban World, have you ever thought about purchasing a cloud arcade? I have no idea what that is. I can't tell if that's a joke or not. Um, uh, hey, Panic Clip Gaming is here. And all right, so I'm just gonna dive into it. I figured I'd do this stream. I'm being a little lazy today, to be honest with you guys. I'm tired after the busy day this morning or the biking this morning. I just wanna play some Killer Instinct and talk to you guys about the upcoming Shed Cade or whatever we're gonna call it. I'm still getting uh, information or still getting names coming in, which is nice. I already hit a snag though, and I'll share it with you guys who are on the stream. Why not? I don't want to, I don't want to uh, spoil all the process of the shed, but I already hit a snag that's going to be expensive. And someone actually left it in a comment and was like, "Hey, have you checked into this? Because this could be something that's expensive." And we're already off right away with something expensive that's a problem. Oh, that's still pretty loud. Let me turn it down a little. Hold on, I'm down here. It's not quite as easy as with the. Uh, Fake arcades. There we go. Yo yo. Wait, wait. Yo yo Y2K. That's right. I remember I just realized your name when it was the other day. You know what? We're going to take a chance here. Please don't screw me. There you go. Bill Wu is here. How's it going, Bill? I'll get into what's what's the first snag of the shed cade here in just a minute. Yeet feet. One, one, two. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. One, two, four. I love the feel of this real cabinet. This is the best way to play the game, obviously. I mean, I'm sure some people would argue with you on that, but this thing just feels amazing. I actually saw a cabinet today for sale for only $8.50 uh, in the Oklahoma area. So if you guys are in the Oklahoma area, grab yourself the uh, OfferUp app and go buy that cabinet. It looks like it's in good shape. The owner must be insane or on drugs. I don't know which one. It's Oklahoma, so you never know. Oh, delayed combo. I was going slow there. Can you guys in the chat please let me know if the game is too loud or if you're hearing any wind blowing over the mic? I've got a fan running way over there in the corner. It is kind of toasty, as I mentioned. Nero Redfield's here. Gosh, I can't wait to get the shed because, for one, it's warm out here, and two, the floor of my garage 
it's done this done like this by design. It slopes just at this spot. So I'm playing on the number one player side or player one side, and I can feel like how uneven the floor is, and it always hurts my feet. So I may grab the old arcade one-up KI stool and sit on that. All right, I am I am rusty. I played one match on the arcade one-up today, and it always throws my timing off on the real thing. Oh, I don't have a hand camera, I just realized. I'm sorry, guys. I was in a hurry to get this done. Killer Instinct is never too loud. Oh, a bit loud. Uh-oh, we got, we got some uh, differing opinions there. I can turn it down. Let's do this before we get too... I better turn it down, because I realize I'm yelling. And I'll wear out my voice quickly. Let me at least do an Ultra Honor really quick, and we'll reset. It sucks I can't change it without... Um, without, you know, rebooting the whole game. Off with you. You guess your PC is almost, oh, is that almost full volume? Wow. You don't need to hear me that loud, right? <laughs> All right, let's just change it just to be safe. All right, that's good, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty low, but pretty good. All right, I installed, you guys will see it on an upcoming video one of these days about this cabinet. I installed a button on the outside of the cabinet so I can get credits without opening the door now. Let's try it again with the random select, just for... All right, I can do Riptor. Trins, oh boy. Uh, I can't read your whole name right now, but Trins says, funny how some people have to mash buttons when you have to hit one button connectors. Yeah, and sometimes I'll mash, especially on the arcade one up, by the way. And I actually hit extra buttons to go along with the beat of some combos, because, you know, you get, you get a little bored. But... With most characters, I could not mash, especially on the real cabinet where the timing is perfect. Oh, you son of a bee. I'm trying to get you with an air combo. Ah. Uh, sleeping. How hot does it typically get out there in Texas? So, Texas is huge, and we have very different... I don't know about very different, but we have different types of heat in Texas. I'm more in the central Texas area. Ah, couldn't get the ultra. Hold on. I'm more in the central Texas area where we get a lot of humidity coming up from the south, uh, from the ocean down there, or the gulf, I guess. I was way too late on that. So here we're typically pretty humid. In summer, especially late summer, it is not uncommon to hit way upper 90s or 100 plus, depending on what kind of year we're having, which makes it impossible. I'm not playing these games out here when it's 100 outside. I have an insulated garage door, but the walls are just drywalled. They're not insulated. Any part that's not part of the main house or touching the real part of the house or sharing an interior wall is not insulated. So it gets a little toasty out here. There's that air combo. Oh, he was stunned by how cool it was. Couldn't hit him with that though. Sorry, I'm looking up because my iPad is up on the marquee. Yes, this is a great color of Riptor. You've gotten a hater. Terry Caleb's here, Keith Latz is here. Thank you, Keith Latz. I'm very happy. So the Shedcade. Let's talk about the... If you guys don't know what's going on with the Shedcade, um, I released a video yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. I got approval from my HOA, which was the first hurdle. And uh, they were like, yeah, go ahead and build it. And it's way oversized from what they originally wanted me to build or the guidelines. But no one else in my neighborhood has really asked for permission. So they just build sheds. And I think the HOA people were like, yeah, he at least asked. Let him do what he wants. <laughs> Let's try to get this. Oh my god. Oh, that's all right. Hold on. <coughs> Got to do it every time. So the HOA said yes. 12 feet by 18 feet. Interior should be roughly 216 uh, square feet, but I know I'm going to lose some space from the walls and all that. But yeah. Uh, hold on. Let's see what Panic Flip says. Chris, what is the process for Orchid's triple fireball? You got to get a combo breaker on your opponent before you go, uh, well, just get a combo breaker, basically. And after that, you'll throw three fireballs instead of one. And as long as they don't do a combo breaker on you next, like say you combo break them, and then you start a combo, and then they combo break you, it, you you're ruined. You gotta do another combo breaker. I don't have a whole lot of combos with her, so this is what you're getting. Uh, Riptor's combo is not terribly difficult, but... You know, if I had my hand camera, which I don't have enough cameras to show you right now, unfortunately, I could show you what I'm hitting, but even then, it's not, it's not terrible. 
So the first snag in the build process. This, I, I went outside. I'm pretty good at planning this stuff. Now, I don't know a ton about electrical stuff, but I knew roughly how much power I wanted. There we go. Now I'll have the three fireballs, by the way, panic flip. So check this out. Hopefully I can get an ultra pulled off on her. Ah, I wanted to get her with that extra hit first. That's, oh no. Son of a bee. That's okay. We'll do it later. So I don't know a ton about the electrical side of things. I kind of, have the, you know, I know basics and all that. I'm not going to try to do the electrical myself. Thankfully, my neighbor right across from me here, like major master electrician, he's like the foreman on the skyscraper he's building in Austin or skyscraper, tall building. I don't know if it's a skyscraper. He goes to Austin to work, basically. They, he's pretty important. Dude knows his stuff, loves to work. Uh, very, very nice guy. And luckily, my wife sends treats their way and like snacks. The guy will pretty much work for beer anyway, he told me. So uh, I will buy him all the beer the guy needs if he'll help me out with this. But the first thing was last night I messaged him and said, hey, do you know how much like amperage we have at our houses here? You know, like what they include when they built the house. And he didn't, he wasn't here when the house was built. He bought it later. But he says, I think it's like 150, which is like, ugh, that's kind of pushing it for what I need. You know, because the regular house stuff, um, I'm gonna switch characters soon because this is getting kind of boring. <laughs> oh yeah, the air one. There it is. Um, I had hoped we had 200 amp service. I should have known better because, uh, excuse me, the builder, you know, they try to cheap out at any point they can. And sure enough, he opened it up and looked. It looked like we had more slots on the outdoor panel. I was like, cool, I can expand. There's, you know, those breakaway metal slots where you can put in more breakers and all that. So I thought I was good. I didn't think to open it and look first. Let's try some orchid for Panic Flip Gaming real quick. Oh, I can't get my blue orchid, we'll go red. Um, he popped it off while we were out today. I said, just come by whenever you want, you know, you can take a look at it. Sent me a picture, he's like, yeah, you're gonna have to upgrade. Every single slot that looked like it was open underneath, there's nothing there behind the actual panel. So every single breaker slot is being used. I'm like, great, now I'm gonna have to upgrade the the outdoor panel, and he's like, we may as well just upgrade you to 200 amps at that point too. And I'm like, oh. So this is gonna get expensive already. Uh, it's gonna hurt a little bit. I've already had a couple donations, by the way, and I can't remember everyone's name off the top of my head, so I'm not gonna say even one of them just so I don't forget anybody. Um, oh, I don't know if I can get a combo breaker. I didn't do the cheat. Let's see. I gotta think about it. Oh God, and the camera's in the way too. Hold on. Nope, that was bad. I'm gonna get it, hold on, I gotta get, I gotta die real quick. So anyway, I have no idea what it's gonna cost. He did say the big, oh God, bump in the camera. The biggest problem is getting the permit from the city, which I don't even like the sound of that, but you know, he's, he probably needs to, there it is. He probably needs to uh, operate within the law since he is a licensed electrician, which is fine. So we'll see where it goes. Ah, that's right. There's the three fireballs, by the way. I'll do the ultra, the big ultra, and then we'll, um, and then we'll uh, do the three fireballs, hopefully, and land them. I think I screwed that up. I don't think I had all the hits, but whatever. I'm distracted. Yeah, I screwed up somewhere. Did not do the extra hits, but whatever. Um, well... What is Shed Cave, Jason asks. Uh, basically, I'm building a building in my backyard to house all my real arcade cabinets and my arcade one-up cabinets and all my other stuff. I just realized, hopefully this is looking good. How's the screen looking? Pretty good, okay. So yeah, that's the Shed Cave. I need to have a, a space to put all my games together. It'll be air conditioned and it will be uh, insulated. We'll have a residential door on it. It's gonna be kind of where I record everything now for the most part, because currently I'm like, like right now, I'm in my garage, it's hot. Um, I don't like to run my games in the extreme heat. So I don't wanna, I don't want them out here in the humidity either. I wanna have an air conditioned space. So yeah, that's, that sucks. Uh, I thought about crowdfunding my shed cave, but it didn't really make sense because it's like you guys, you don't really get anything. <laughs> so felt kind of rude asking for you guys to crowdfund, but donations are absolutely welcome. I appreciate every one of them. Ah. Look at these boobies. Never had your own arcade cabinet before. Neither did I, Jason. I had arcade one-ups for a while. I still do. I still enjoy a lot of the ones I have, but 
Um, one day I just bought a Hydro Thunder cabinet and I was like, I'm gonna take a chance. It was $400, might as well try it. I bought that and then bought a San Francisco Rush The Rock and then I bought a Real Killer Instinct and now we're here. And I just can't buy any more until, uh, until I get more space. And more space is now on the way. Mawitz, oh, I'm gonna try to say her name. I'm just gonna stop at Mawitz. How's that? Or Tukor. Tukor. Jeff is asking, Chris, have you ever played the Xbox One version of Kill? Yes, I have. I've played the uh, the new game and, of course, the emulated versions of this. I need to play it more, I'll admit. Oh, man, I am not getting this timing right. You got to hate her. Hard to believe. Combo wouldn't like looking at those. Yeah, there must be something wrong with these Hooters is all I can guess. They're, these things must be like demons underneath there. How you like that air combo fella? Oh, he's gonna combo break me for sure. Let's just try it. Okay, it's cool. I don't I don't wanna kill him anyway. I wanna do this. I wanna do his fatality unless I get a combo breaker. We'll see. Super dimensional, what real arcades? There we go, now I got a combo breaker. Oh, I thought he was gonna let me connect that one hit. No, he's not, and he's trying to kill me now. That's all right, I'm gonna do a finisher on him anyway. What other real cabs are you planning to get in the future or eyeing? I, I paraphrased. Um, that's a good question. I kind of have everything I really, really want, but I wouldn't mind a Rush 2049, like uh, Yeet Feet said here. Maybe it's two frogs. <laughs> yeah, you could be AC. Um, I'm gonna change characters, hold on, where's my button? Um, maybe a Rush 2049. One thing that I found interesting is I never really played Target Terror. I'm gonna try random select too, let's see. Ugh, no, I'm terrible at full gore. Um, so maybe a Target Terror if I find one at the right price. I'm not gonna spend a lot on it and it has to be working and I probably wouldn't keep it very long. Like these three cabinets, as long as they're working, I'm gonna keep them. At least for quite a while. KI I'll probably never sell. I love this game. I got a good price on it. I've got an extra PCB for it. So I'm all set right now. I'm gonna do his fatality with the gun head, I think. I hope I remember it. Let's see. No! I think this is it. Other than that, I really can't think of any other game other than maybe replacing my arcade one-up versions of like Blitz or MK4. I mean, my MK4 is running the board already. I can just pull the board and put it into, that's how little I play with Fulgore, by the way. I'm changing characters. Um, I could just take the board and put it into a midway cabinet if I find an MK4. Let's try again. Ah, that's not bad. I mean, I like TJ, but okay. So maybe replace my real cabinets. The only two I would consider really replacing would be um, MK4 or Blitz. But I would, I, if I do a Blitz, I want a Showtime Blitz combo. Problem is, I don't want it in a four-player cab. I, I don't want to take the room up and have you know less space in the room just to have a four-player cab that will almost never be used. So I'd probably take a Blitz cabinet that had been converted to. Um, I guess I had an old Blitz cabinet two player that I can convert over, or someone had already converted it over. God, I don't know how I'm ever gonna get this one. There it is. I didn't do my cheat again. Abraham's here. Unfortunately, I don't have space to have real arcades. Gotta stick with one up. And that's fine. I'm, I gotta tell you guys, some days I come out here and I'm like, other than my KI, I love all of these cabinets. Don't get me wrong, but there seems to always be something that needs to be done to them. Like, just yesterday I was playing Rush and the steering is still going out. The power steering is going out here and there. It's probably an issue. I haven't quite even looked into it yet. But my monitor just randomly did like a hot pink color. I was like, oh crap. But it went away. It did it twice, but it went away every time. Um, hold on, let me try to get this Ultra out. Try to go for the long Ultra. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, um, Hydro Thunder is currently, I won't even use it right now just because everything works on Hydro Thunder, thankfully, but the monitor we've been struggling with, we got a bad flyback, we got, uh, we replaced it, we replaced the original bad flyback, then we got a bad flyback replacement, and then either the next one that I got is bad also, or there's, it just needs a cap kit, which I've ordered, but I'm a noob and I can't do it myself. So I gotta ask my friend uh, Wicked Arcade Jojo to come out here and help me out. 
And of course, I didn't schedule anything with him this weekend, I realized. So I'm not going to bug the guy and be like, hey, come fix my game now, randomly. All right, anyway. I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, but basically, real arcades are great. But man, when they're not working, it's it's a constant like struggle. You know, these, these games are old, especially the racing cabs, because they're old and they have a lot of different parts, moving parts. Whereas this is just, you know, I, I, I've got a hard drive in it, but once it dies, I'll just swap it with a flash kit. Otherwise, nothing really moves in it, other than the fan, I guess. Come on, I'm trying to get set up for the Ultra. Fine, I'll just take that one. We're gonna nail this Ultra this time. Nope! <laughs> so frustrating. Okay. So, another thing I've been thinking, I've been trying to, I, I know it sounds awful, like I feel like I'm, you guys are gonna think I'm trying to get money out of you at every turn, but kinda had an idea for something that I might sell. And, so I'd rather give you guys something to buy rather than just ask for money. Um, but, it, you know, merch and stuff. And by the way, there is a link in the description if you wanna buy a shirt. Uh, you probably can't see it, but I'm wearing one right now. Um, but my wife had an idea, Lady Cag, she, she makes, well, she doesn't necessarily make them, but she designs enamel pins and then sells them on her Etsy. And she was like, hey, we should do a Cag pin. And when I say pin, I don't mean like something you can write with, like one you stick on your clothes or on a backpack or whatever. So I might look into doing that as a way to raise some funds for the old Shedcade. And, uh... I'd probably do it as like a pre-order because you have to buy a bunch ahead of time and I can't afford to buy a bunch and then not have them sell. So if you guys aren't interested, that way it'll give me an idea. So we might do something like that too. It smells very odd in here. Last time I had a smell, that's another problem. My Hydro Thunder monitor was catching fire. I'm gonna go with the safe bet here on the Ultra. It smells odd though. Maybe it's because I have the garage door open though. Or open a little bit. Here we go. Boom! Not as spectacular, but whatever. Yes, pin slash button. They're very nice though. Like the ones she's made come out really nice. I'm gonna change characters again. Let's do it. See if I can play with Idol Twin 78. Ugh. I'll try, but I'm actually not that good with Idol. Let's try it though, just for fun. There he is. Can't always find that, oh, land that uh, final juggle with TJ combo, yeah. This is my combo with Idol. I don't like playing as Idol. I, I find him to be kind of annoying. <laughs> he can't really jump. He at least has that, um, at least has that, what's it called? Infinite Ultra, or combo, not Ultra. Will you keep any one-ups in the house since they are, or are they banned after this? In the house, I just don't have room anymore. The room I'm clearing out is actually going to be for workspace now, so like I can run a business from there. Uh, the current business I work in, we're going to be taking it over, so we got to have a space for it. I'm going to try to get this. M Militia, I'm okay. Ah, I'm okay with Spinal. I'll play us some Spinal later. Let's. I'll do like one or two, maybe three playthroughs of the game. <sighs> Where was it? Oh, Panic Flip, speaking of Midway cabinets, you have another one coming. Jeez, you get like a Midway house over there. Oh God, I didn't realize I was this far in the tree, but oh well, we're going with Idol, I will probably lose. I can't believe he didn't combo break that. Maybe that's his uh, special move. I just do not like playing his hand. Anybody know how to make him do his uh, foot stomp? I know you don't get or you won't get any extra life, but I can't ever remember how to do his uh, foot stomp. Oh God, there he is, he's back. Didn't combo break it, look at that. Whoa, the camera got wild. Got me. Endangered dog, big, big dog king gag. I thought you said, the big dog part I thought was big dong. It's like, man, you must really like me. No, okay, I'm dead. That's fine. I'm not even gonna try to come back to life. AC other than the 80, Idol has more combos in the SADS version. Interesting. So let's finish out the game with somebody I'm strong with. Let's just, we'll start a new one after that. Holy crap. 
Bill Wu with a $49.99 Super Chat Shedcade donation. Thank you very much, Bill Wu. I have no idea what this is going to end up costing, but you guys are being very helpful so far. I really appreciate you. I, I never, I, I feel bad even like asking for donations, but at this point, I'm going to be screwed if not. Um, Oh, now there's the move. But thank you very, very much, Bill Wu. I hope it says Ultra Combo. You probably won't hear it, but it'll be on my end. I don't know. Or I think it plays it through the stream. He's going to combo break me. Nope. What's up? Lady Keg has entered. A wild Lady Keg appears. Oh. Very tired Lady Keg. What's he going to do? Uh-oh, hold on. I thought this was going to be easy. You are hot. It is hot out here, though. No, Look at that, Mr. Bill Wu. Very appreciated, right? What? Oh, there I am. Oh, yeah, it's delayed. Charles Gray. I think that may be a new member. I don't know. I don't remember seeing you on the list. Maybe I'm just mistaken. But uh, Then back forward quick for a quicker charge. Man, I got to... I gotta try him again later then, now that I know this, just for fun. Lady Cag has blue hair now, by the way, guys. <laughs> you haven't seen her since then. What, where are you? Here, I'll step over. You're barely in the frame, I guess, but whatever. Uh-oh. I'm not even paying attention. Whoa, okay, and I gotta finish this guy off real quick. Just smack him one time. Oh, I am sweaty. I didn't mean me. I know. We'll finish this playthrough, I'll do another one after this. But Mrs. Keg a little more. I don't even Oh, I get what he's saying. That's from another comment I made earlier. I thought he would call me Big Dong Ke King Keg because it's Big Dog up there, but it's small. I can't see it well. I'm, I'm projecting, too. Really? You have to get your eyes checked there. You know I have the worst eyesight of all of us. So are mine. <laughs> mine are probably older. Militia, hey, I thought I saw you in here earlier already, but hey, how's it going? Let's get the heck out of that corner. So easy to beat him with Saber Wolf. Next, next playthrough, I will let you guys pick who I beat the game with. Let's see if I can get an Ultra on him. Let me let him run to me, hopefully. There he is. Ah! Didn't get the extra hits. You are making me very hot. Why are you so hot, by the way? <laughs> A glass of wine. Jeez. <laughs> I'm out here. It's very hot in there. Oh, out. It's, it's, it's cooler out there. You're than crazy. It is in the house. No way, because look, it's. Anyway, it's 81 outside right now. Eat Feed, an arcade near me, has Rush 2049, Rush the Rock, and Killer Instinct. Where are you at, by the way? Oh, Militia was saying hi to you, by the way. Oh, hi. I'm going to have to move. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, get off sweaty. My hands are. I don't need to. Okay. Ugh, are you going to hang out or something? You want a microphone? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Let's let the game run through and then I'll do another one. Glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> You're toasty, that's for sure. Yeah, well, and also, fucking, excuse me, <laughs> burned like 1,500 yeah. calories today. But like, I'm all over the place. Let's see if I can make this not so washed out looking. It's because there's a light right here to the side of the camera. Um, let's see if I can turn it. Maybe that'll help and hide it a little. Because the screen is beautiful on this cabinet. It's, it's pretty amazing. But anyway, that's about the best I've got. Unless I move the whole camera. Does it have my touch? Yeah, but it already did. No, no, it just focuses. Uh. And then locks. Oh, I was very close to the camera there. Is your hair? You didn't put any stuff in it. I didn't. It's hot. I don't have time. <laughs> I was barely making the time I set for this. I was running. Mrs. Keg, the hair looks amazing from Endangered Dog. Thank you. The, last, the music on that last stage is so good, Panic Flip. It is. Uh, I like it way better than his other stage with that 
I mean, all the music in the game is good, but I don't like that other stage, so I think it upsets me. Let's put some credits in. I guess I could probably skip this, right? Oh, no, you can't. I always get confused. Pennsylvania, okay. I will be planning, setting a date for the very first Killer Arcade Games arcade meetup in Texas somewhere. So watch out. I'll give you guys a month's notice is what I'm planning on. Maybe a little more. We'll see. I just need to choose a time to actually do it. Okay. Love you. Love you. There we go. We're ready again. Um, bye, guys. Say bye to Lady Cagna. <laughs> we'll start with Glacius just for fun. Randy White. I always say your name like uh, Randy Watson from, uh, anyway, from what is it called? Coming to America. Um, is this the Pro KI or is that not out yet? It is not the Pro KI. This is the ultimate Pro KI. It's the real Killer Instinct arcade cabinet with a CRT monitor that looks beautiful. You guys just can't tell because the camera doesn't do it much justice. <laughs> I saw Terry wanted me to do something. What was it? Uh, play as Orchid. Oh, well, crap. I didn't see that until now. Sorry. Right, you're getting smacked. Fire versus ice. Ice always wins. Oh, that didn't work at all. He's just sliding away. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Weber, there you go. I couldn't see your name on the other screen. Randy White, I know I need to change back to my other account. This, just this one has better subs. I, have, I didn't know how many have. I just like the name. I don't know. Mr. Randy Watson That's what it makes me think of. Let's see if I can get an air combo. Got it. Love those air combos. I'm really enjoying those. Squat. Go down. Get low. Like little John said. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, screw this. Let's try to do the ultra properly this time. Let me get him more over here. Oh. I don't want to kill him. Not yet, at least. Can I get you with that extra hit? Probably not. I do the extra hits when people who don't... Oh! Ah! When I'm at real arcades and I'm like somebody's... I could tell someone's watching, I'll do all these extra button presses during the ultra, and they're just like, geez, what is he doing? But I'm not doing anything, obviously. It's like people who don't know anything about Killer Instinct, they think I'm some insane person who knows like every single move. Yes, I love coming to America. It's so good. I'm going to have to see if Lady Cag wants to watch that tonight. We, for some reason, we like watching it around Christmas. It feels like a Christmas movie. I don't know. I'm going to change characters again soon. Just got some sound came in. And I was saying, oh. Anyway, I see something about a light gun opportunity. Uh, I was just saying, we may have to watch Coming to America soon. I can't hear you. Love you. Sometimes I get emails to review things, and most of the time it's like stuff that has nothing to do with arcades. So now I want to know what this email is, but it may not be anything I'm even interested in. I don't want to take stuff that's not any interest to you guys just because it's free. Oh god, I screwed it all up. Let's change characters though. They want. Oh, it's a game. Okay, a light gun new game, not an arcade game. I just realized my my screen's a little off down here, but that's fine. I'll fix that later. I'll try Spinal. Somebody requested Spinal. I'm not great with Spinal, but I'm not terrible either. I'm getting better. Let's say that. I know my one or two combos with them, oh, and that's not it. Where is it? Uh oh. There it is. I gotta get it back. All right, finally. Ah, stunned. There's that ultra. 
I can get one more hit on this Ultra, but that's all I got. Perfect. Oh, this reminds me. I've been debating on it if I want to make a video on it or not, but I found some very, not, I guess it was prototype footage. I'm going to go with CAG this time. Why not? Prototype footage of this game being played actually in San Antonio at an uh, arcade show in 94, and Spinal's laugh is different. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It sounds so weird. It's like, it sounds like he's choking on a bone or something at first, and then he goes into his laugh. It's really odd. Oh, nice. I probably won't stream terribly long tonight. Excuse me, I'm sorry about the burping on the mic. Of course, the mic's right under me, too. Oh, I think my chat... Wait, did it get stuck? Hold on. I didn't... I'm sorry, guys. I have a stuck chat. I didn't even see. It's going on the other screen, not on this one. I was like, man, you guys got quiet. <laughs> Hold on, let me finish this guy off. Or let him finish me off. I may have to reboot this stream up here. Just give me a second. Let's do a fatality. I don't know what happened to my stream, but one second. Oh, now I gotta watch my own ads. Jeez. Ahua! Come on, load. I'm on. Wi-Fi in the garage, which never works well for some reason. I think my house is made of metal. Sorry about the chat. Let me see if I can see here. I see Yo Yo Y2K had to leave, but it's still not loading up there. So give me just a second. Let me I'll turn off my Wi-Fi. Give me a second. That sucks. Looks like I'm offline. There we go, got the chat back. Ah. Let's see if I can get that burnt into an ultra. Nope. What was that? That didn't work at all. Okay. Oh, Sega Genesis with a wife. That's cool. Thanks for stopping in. You kind of hear you work with somebody who's who's like Eddie Murphy in Coming to America. Uh, watching Coming to America with light guns. What, Randy White? Yeah, I got a little confusing there. Ooh. So I'm not great with spinal. Let's see how it goes. Terry Caleb, Orchid first, Chief Thunder second. Use them all the time. I'm going to do some uh, Chief Thunder next. I've already done a little Orchid tonight. Key Flats, fun facts. Fun fact, the McDowell's. Oh, it was actually a Wendy's a couple blocks from your old apartment. I didn't know. I thought it was actually a McDonald's and they just let them change it all. Yeah, me and the McDowell's people, me and the McDonald's people have a little uh, misunderstanding. <laughs> ah. Man, that's cool. I've never been to, I mean, I don't know if that's an area that's nice or not. They don't make it look very nice, that's for sure. What am I doing wrong? We're changing. I have not seen Spinal's Infinite Fireball glitch in 1.4. I may have seen it, but I just don't, I didn't know what it was at the time, like watching random YouTube stuff. I probably have seen it in that case, but I don't remember it. I'll have to look it up. Let's try to do a combo breaker here and get some extra hits going. Um, God, it's so hard with the camera in the way. Oh, it's gonna be difficult with Full Gore 2. Ah. All right, forget it. We're just going to go without it. Never going to get it now. <laughs> I swear I'm smelling food. Is Lady Cag up to something in there? I'm like right off the kitchen in the garage. Killer. Oh, intality. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, timing was terrible. I don't know how if that timing is exact every time, but I'm not very good. Unless I can see him flying up, I haven't nailed the timing yet. Excuse me. Okay, so the chat's still good. I 
I'm like paranoid now, it's not working, but I can see on this one, which is a wired connection. Nice, got me good. Phoenix. See if I can get his air combo. I think it's the same as a lot of guys, but still, it's cool. Nice, got me good. AC Chief Thunder can, hold on, can catch an opponent with his ultra the same way. I gotta look into that. I guess you just keep doing the ax spin until you're close enough, or maybe it's just one time. Maybe we could do it with uh, Idol. I may try that before the stream's over, because Idol likes to float a little while. Oh, let's do the dog can fatality. Let's hope I remember it. Make him dog food. Man, he is like, he's fighting tonight. Punk. Doggo. Dog food. That's funny. I'm sorry. I don't care. He has actually some cool finisher. At least this one's cool because a diff a characters react differently no matter, uh, I guess, depending on who they are, you know. I'm not gonna try to read that Uganda hater, but I know what you're doing. The saber wolf sounds. <clears throat> oh, I wanted to catch, catch her. I gotta try this ultra thing out now, where you throw him in the air and then catch him with the ultra. Randy White. Uh, I'll tell you, but okay, AC, I see you there. Randy White says, I hope the new pro cabinet doesn't have the, oh, I don't know what monitor that is. Is that the one that's coming in the, um, what is it called, the golden tea cabinet? <clears throat> what do you think the chances are they're gonna send me the pro? Zero, <laughs> which is fine. I don't, I don't have any room for the pro. Hey, Alan's Ageless Arcades, it's going pretty good. Trying to get, get myself a space for my real arcades outside. What was that? Oh well. Slab of meat coming. That's a chunk of meat if you can't see it very well. I don't know. Is it getting dark? Oh, it is. It's like somebody closed my garage door. I may have to close it so I don't get attacked by June bugs. Jeez. I had to pack up my hot tub for the season already. I was so pissed. I like my hot tub time and, uh oh, uh oh. Um, June bugs would be dive bombing me when I'm sitting out there trying to watch my TV and enjoy a nice hot tub soap. So I drained it and I'm gonna put it away tomorrow. Weber, give this man some likes. Yes, please, I forgot about that. I always forget to ask you guys for likes. So thank you for remembering Mr. Weber. Let's see if I can connect this ultra. No way. <laughs> I don't know what he drops, but it's, oh, his head. It's like a TJ or a Johnny Cage fatality. His head goes flying off. Um, endangered dog, you deserve the cab playing Vanguard watching you. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd love to have, I mean, I'd like to check out a pro cabinet. I'm not paying for one though. I've got enough Killer Instinct cabinets around here anyway. So, uh, but if they want to send one, I'd definitely love to review it at least, even if I had to send it back. Although I'm not taking it apart. They're gonna have to ship that thing back, put together if they want it back. I don't know why I'm even talking about it. They don't, they're not gonna do that. <laughs> I was kind of joking anyway. Ooh, nice, you got me good. Randy White wants all the online cabs. You know, the online is a massive draw for Arcade 1UP. I gotta say it. I mean, you get an arcade feel and you get online play, which is something you'll never have with these cabinets. But I'm sorry, this cabinet's still by far superior, of course. I'd much rather take the real thing and play alone than have the online uh, play. Hey, uh, oh. I caught him on a few of them. All right. 
<clears throat> yes, June bugs suck. They, like, I had a grasshopper. I was riding through the woods today on my bike. Grasshopper hit me right in the mouth. If my mouth was open, I would have been eating a grasshopper. Ooh, let's see if, okay. Quickly, quickly. Who do you want me to beat the game with? I can do another playthrough, but I'm, I know there's a delay, so I'm gonna try to, I'll get him, I'll see if I can beat him with Thunder, but I'm not gonna try real hard either, though. Yeah, Lady Cag is cooking something in there that is killing me right now. It smells so good. Even though I kind of already ate, it still smells really good. And I'm a fatty. Let's just mess with him and see if he'll let me do combos and stuff. Of course, he'll like be the easiest to beat ever now. That was a mistake. Alan's old school, he wants the real cabinet. It really is the best way. When they all work, it's an amazing feeling and I love it, but I can't deny that Killer Instinct Arcade 1-Up with the online play is a massive bonus. I would never replace it with this, though, is what I'm saying. Or never let the, it replace this, is what I should be saying. Shang Tsung. Encore. Beat it with Fulgore. We got one vote. I'm not good with Fulgore, but we can definitely try. Ooh. Good timing on that. Gibby Gibbardson, can you convert arcade... Oh, hold on. Arcade 1-Up PCB's a jamma. That would be awesome. I don't think you can. I, I don't know. I'm talking like I would even know anyway. I just don't know. Ooh. Oh, no, I beat him. I didn't mean to beat him. Let's let him come back. You can have me. All right, we got to vote for Orchid. Could get a jamma switcher then. Thunder. Oh, well, T. Platts, I was right there. I had him beat. So... We've got nothing, but I'm gonna try Fulgore at least once or twice. If I can't do it with Fulgore, then we'll move on. I'm waiting for more votes right now, so give me a second. Hmm. Yeah, people are talking about, can I put the arcade one up board in here? Be honest with you, I wouldn't besmirch this cabinet and I wouldn't risk messing anything up. I would just, this thing is staying as a Killer Instinct original arcade cabinet. Someone even asked me, like, hey, why don't you do the mod where you can do KI1 and 2 on the same board? I don't even want to do that. Let's just leave it as is. All right, well, I didn't get any more votes for now, so let's try it. Oh, boy, try full gore. Okay, this might actually work just doing that. Keeps him away from me. He repeats the move. Let's see. And I'm on a good stage to do it with. It can't be this easy, right? Maybe it can. Oh my god. Oh, now there's votes coming for Thunder. If, if that's what you guys want, I'll beat it. If I beat it with him, I'll beat it with Thunder next. How's that? I do like, I mean, I already beat it with Thunder, but I let him beat me. Thunder's got a pretty good ending. Fulgore's ending's kind of the same thing repeated over and over. Not good, not good, get away. Ultra, look at that. I didn't think I was even gonna beat him, and I beat him like better than I usually beat. What happened? My character's backwards. That was really weird. Well, here we go, another run through done. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta leave this cabinet stock. This cabinet, I come out here sometimes and just look at it, and I'm like, I cannot believe I own one of these. Truly, like a, it sounds cheesy and lame, but this is a dream come true for me. And the fact that you guys helped me do that, like, I'll be forever grateful. And when I say you guys helped me, like, just, I bought this thing off YouTube earnings, which was amazing. And the guy who sold it to me was, he found me because of YouTube. I was like, hey, I want it to go to a good home. I'll give you a good price. And I was like, okay, thank you. So I, I have you guys to thank for this, for sure. I have something on my screen. Oh, it's inside the screen. Cool. <clears throat> So this is like his whole ending. It's just this video that re repeats and it's not even centered on the screen if you guys can tell. There's more of a gap on this side. Oh no, it is this video. That's right, I forgot about this one. It's kind of like what he starts off in in KI2 actually. I don't remember the little tune at the end there. That was cool, I hope you heard it without me talking too much. Did it freeze? That was weird. That was really weird. <clears throat> catch up on the chat while everything everything gets going original is the most valuable to the heart absolutely and in real life like this thing is almost an investment at this point because it's only going to get more expensive how could it not 
I mean, they're harder and harder to find. Every time I look, the working PCB price goes up. I'm just keeping this thing, and that's why I want to get the shed cage so it's in a nice climate controlled space, and that'll be amazing. Oh, Mark, I just saw your message. Well, I spent too, too damn much money on the KI cabinet. I saw one on offer up. I saw that one too. I think everybody saw I actually routed to it. Excuse me. I routed to that city in Oklahoma. What sucks is I was just in Oklahoma last weekend. Like literally on this day last week, I was in Oklahoma. Um, and it would be like, I could have made it up there in almost seven hours, but I don't need another KI. And I gas is so expensive too. And I've been putting a lot of miles on my truck. So I was like, all right, I'm going to give it up. I'm going to let someone else enjoy it. I don't want to be greedy. <clears throat> I already have not only the, the KI cabinet, I have an extra PCB. I can't get much more better off than I am now. What kind of crazy person sells at a KI for 850? 850, like that's in the shape it was in. He could have got probably 2000 for that. Oh, paint a clip, KI board set, 1700 US. Ugh, jeez. That is insane. I'm not, even though I have an extra, I will not sell it. Like even if someone offered me $2,000, I'd be like, good, I, well, I, I don't know. I might sell it at that point, like if they were insistent, like here you go. And then I'll go buy another one as a backup and just make like $500 profit or something. Or 300 if it's 1,700. The Dirty Vegetable, I like that name. Randy White, I gotta get to playing another game so you guys aren't bored. Uh, where was it? Randy White, between the my bezel has the manufacturer's dandruff or skin flake in it. I gotta do something with my bezel. You can't really see it actually, but up here is that epilepsy warning and it's all faded. It just looks, ah, I picked Sabre Wolf again. It looks like a white thing up there and uh, Wicked Arcade was here recently and he was like, I can't believe you haven't changed that yet or taken that off yet. I was like, I'm, I'm waiting because I might put one of those bezels with the move lists on it, but I think I'll take the sides off that bezel if I do. I don't like how much, it kind of crowds the screen, I think. Hey, Calgary Heli. April Fool's Encore, what's that? Oh, you think, are you talking about that KI being so cheap? It could be, I guess. That'd be a really rude joke to have people willing to travel that far and be, you know, oh, April Fool's, ha. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. There is another KI for sale in Louisiana right now, but it is so ugly. It's got a um, LCD screen in it, and it looks like a terrible LCD screen. <laughs> Stun. How about an ultimate combo for you guys? It never actually says the combo, though. I don't know if it gets cut off, because if you actually listen to the file, like the file taken from the arcade, it says ultimate combo, but it doesn't say it on the arcade. Gamer Guts, God, I love the soundtrack for this game. I agree. Sounds so good. Uh, I turned the volume up recently and it was just amazing in here. One of my neighbors, uh, new neighbors down the street was like, oh, you're the guy with the arcades because he had me go work on his, uh, do some work at his house for him for my you know, real job pest control stuff. And he was like, oh wait, you're the one with the arcades. Like, yep. It's like, he probably hears Killer Instinct all the time coming out of this garage. I can't waste it. I want to get the Ultra. Uh-oh, hold on, I need to get a howl. There we go. All right, let me see if I can let him duck, let her duck in front of me and get an extra hit. Oh. Oh, come on. That sucked. Ignacio, what's up? Can you trigger, how can you trigger a shadow move without performing an ultra combo? I know a few moves, like with TJ combo, I can do a shadow like fist, running fist at him. You gotta get a combo breaker first. I'm not an expert on the shadow moves, to be honest. Um, but you get a combo breaker and I know you can do it, or I think it has something to do with your life bar flashing at the end of it. Uh, let's see. Let me do a howl and I think my life bar will start flashing right there. So that shows that I have an extra hit. Let's see if I can do any kind of, no. God, I can't nail the timing on this. Oh yeah, I wanna try, before I go, I wanna try that TJ combo thing, but it's probably not gonna work out. It sounds like it's more complicated. So now TJ combo has a flashing 
bit up there by his name, and that means he can do a shadow move now, or a, something else, I guess. Terry Caleb, you're getting off right now. You're getting tired. We'll check in on the next stream. Thank you. Don't you combo break, mother of... Anyway, right as I said it, I wanted to get that ultra. All right, let's try this again. I had the extra hit and everything. There we go. Full ultra now, hopefully. What? Oh, you're getting stabbed in the testicles. Randy White, you wish you could afford a real golden tee, which you want like the real fancy golden tee, like the new ones they make? Because you could find old golden tees cheap on Facebook Marketplace. Let's try this, uh, let me try one time, just once. The Thunder Ultra deal. I gotta be idle. Here we go. Jay Wills, my city just opened an arcade bar. Stay open until two on weekends. Nice. Where are you at, Jay Wills? I should be practicing my move to get near him now that I think about it. Let's see. Uh, just, just screw it up all together. That's what I'm doing. So I think that's I think that'll work. Let's try it just for fun. Let's chip away some life here. <laughs> Reminds me of Quentin Rampage Jackson every time. I don't know what he, what, who makes that sound, who that is. Here we go. No! Oh. And you can't do a fatality. We're going to have to try again. What happened there? That was awful. Oh, the fancy one. So, yeah, you're going to spend a lot of money then. Even, like, they don't even come with TVs usually. you got to put your own TV on them from what I understand. Need idle again. I don't. Yeah, there's three golden tees near you, Frank, for 300. Yeah, they're not much money usually. I wish I was on one of the sky stages. I should have thought of that. Or rooftop stages. I don't think I'm going to get close enough. We'll try it. Try it just for fun. UFC fighter. Okay, that sounds right. Oh, all right, Jay Wills. So you're not terribly far from me. If I'm ever in uh, Louisiana, I may look up this barcade. Here we go. Gonna, oh, no, we gotta get the full hits. <clears throat> what? I just did the combo a bunch. All right, I'm trying again. Because I'm so curious now. Hey. I do. All right, we're gonna get it this time. Okay, at least I got a, one of these. I, I know, right? No TV, yeah. I played one uh, recently, one of the new ones over at Cidercade in Dallas. Oh, he went really high there. Hold on. So that may be the uh, ender I need to do, and then boom. If this does not work, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, I got it, but it didn't really hit him all the way there. What? They didn't even go very high. Well, at least I did it. There you go. I'm changing the characters again, but we're done with messing with that. At least I know it works. I'm going to try some Jago. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Ignacio, I remember shadow moves being really difficult to perform. So, um, I'm not going to be able to do it right now, but I know when you're, uh, you get a... He, uh, Jago gets a special fireball when he has that combo breaker. You hold Fierce Punch and then do the fireball move and release, and it'll throw a red fireball that stuns them. And, oh, well, get out. Okay, Randy, added a subscription for $100 a year if you want to upgrade to the new stuff. It's $500. Yeah, they nickel and dime you. I guess they're just assuming you're going to be an arcade and you're going to be making money off of it. Oh. There we go. All right, let's move on. I'll see how far I can get with Jago. I'm not not great. Oh, do that one. Why not? <laughs> Gamer guts. You 
you say I'm good and you'd pay to see me in play in person. If I could travel this country playing this game and people would pay to watch, my God, I would quit my job today. Can you imagine that? Like, it'd be like uh, being a comedian or, uh, <laughs> or a musician, but all you gotta do is play a video game and people are gonna be cheering behind you. That'd be the best. I would seriously pay, uh, well, not pay, but that would be my job and I would be so happy about it. I would get a van or a bus and just be like, Hey yeah, guys, I'm on tour today. Is he stunned? Yeah, nice. Let's do his fatality this time, though. I mean, I am gonna do meetups, so uh, you don't have to pay to go to those unless the place requires you to pay to get in. I don't get any money, but it'd be cool to play with you guys or let you guys play against me. What the heck? What? What is happening? I, these are brand new controls. This shouldn't be happening. Better than being a comedian, yeah, because I'd even do this live. Like, if I was on stage somehow, I don't know how that would work. I guess move a cabinet on stage and I kind of face the audience and cameras show what I'm playing on the screen and I just ramble on like I do on here. That'd be amazing. I would be very happy to do that as a job. It has to be good enough paying, though, to make it worth it. But I'd be like one of those uh, strange... I'd be like Van Halen, you know, I'd have like all the weird writer stuff, because my writer would be just give me whatever money you were going to spend on me, and I will transport myself, I will not stay in a hotel unless I have to, I'll travel the country on, on vehicle, by vehicle because I hate staying in hotels, like I'll just be in my own little camper uh, thing myself, that'd be amazing, I'll drive myself too, maybe Lady Cag can drive for me. <clears throat> As soon as gas prices go down, then travel, yeah. And uh, now that I'm spending all my money on the Shedcade, uh, I don't think I'll be hitting Galloping Ghost this time. There it is. I don't know why I couldn't get it last time. Jalopy Droppy. Making sure my chat's still good. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember. I just, this just reminded me because I thought about the door being open a little. I don't know if you guys remember me talking about it, but I was so happy the other day. Some kids walked by the arcade, or the arcade, my garage with the door open, and were like, they were like real nervous to say anything, but you could, I just happened to see them going by, and they kind of freaked out for a second. They're like, we like your garage, and then ran away. And I was, I don't know, for some reason it made me happy because I've said before how I'll be in here playing arcade games with the door wide open and no one cares. Like, no people walk by and they're like, hey, that's really cool. You know, if I was a kid, especially walking by and I saw some guy with a garage full of games, I would have been molested quickly. <laughs> Sorry, that was not a funny joke. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, I don't want to be the creepy guy who's like trying to attract kids to come talk to him, but I thought that was cool. I was like, this is amazing. Finally, some kids who appreciate some good arcade games. Actually, Wicked Arcade was here when it happened, so I was like, oh, it's the first time ever. I was all excited. Get out of here. I'm going to drop a car on you then. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, there's uh, Mr. Wicked Arcade using... The Ultra 64. Um, <laughs> sorry, you got a hater. Stuff keeps getting blocked. Um, Ultra 64 emoji. Wicked Arcade remembers that, I'm sure. The whole uh, the thing about us having the kids stop by and be like, I like your arcade or your, or your garage. And me feeling like a champ. I was like, yeah, little kids think I'm cool. I just spit on my arcade. That happens though, right? What was that? That was like a really quick hit. Weird combo. Oh, wait. Did I miss somebody being here? Wait. wait. Mike is here? I'm so confused. Um, Wicked Arcade, I don't know if you were here earlier, but... I had some news about some already things are already going wrong with the shedcade process. I don't have enough electricity outside. I'm gonna have to spend a bunch of money. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh crap! Spend some money or oh, have the uh, panel upgraded outside. It's gonna suck. I'm sure this is the first of many surprises in the process, though. Excuse me. Let's pick. Who have I not really played with tonight that I'm okay with? I already did Orchid, didn't I? 
Let's try her again, why not? Oh, okay, yeah, you might think you're Mike, yeah. I can see that. Dude, if Mike comes to the meetup that I do, I'm, I'm gonna like be more fanboyed out about him than he's gonna be like, oh, this is overwhelming, Mike is here. What sucks is I was in Dallas last weekend, or last Friday and Saturday, and they had that pinball expo going on, and Todd Tucky was there, Mike was there, and I was like, man, I should have stopped by. I didn't even think to do that. Or I didn't know it was going on either until I was like about to leave Dallas to go to Oklahoma. Yeah, buddy. So now I have the three hits. He's gonna come down on me, yep. Mr. Styles, you're having to upgrade your panel for your hot tub, man. Well, see, what's funny is I was considering even adding like a mini split AC in our bedroom too, because our bedroom is huge and it gets hot. The love nest, you know? Um, it just gets really toasty in there because it's so big and the, you know, not all of the house is uh, the same temperature basically. So it's like, well, let's put a mini split in there too and run it to the panel outside. Well, the problem with that is now, I don't even have anywhere to put anything. That panel is full, I had no idea. Didn't look full when you opened the little thing, but I didn't realize you had to take the metal off to actually know it was back there. I'm dumb. Randy White had an MK Legacy up for sale and TMNT only. Okay, I hear something creeping around outside now. I'm gonna have to close the door. Uh, I got distracted. Uh, TN TMNT, more than me, I'll sell it. Oh God, I can't read, I'm sorry. Night Yoshi, what'd you miss? You missed me talking about having to spend a bunch of money on something I didn't want to spend. Well, the, the shed cave's mainly the thing you missed, talking about that. Everything else is just me talking. I'm gonna go close the garage really quickly. No, don't open close. Okay, you may have a glare, maybe not. I thought you'd have a glare from the light. Jeez, oh, he hops around like crazy. Oh, Gamer Guts, made up of one-up cabs, 11 cabs with subwoofers on one circuit. So yeah, I'm not worried at all about uh, the power for those because even my modded ones use like 75 watts a piece. But these full size, I've measured them before. The racing cabs usually run around 250. Oh, um, 250 watts. So I can't, it's like two and a half, three amps or whatever. Um, <clears throat> And I, don't, I haven't measured the KI. I imagine it's similar. It's mainly the CRT that pulls the most power, from what I can tell. Actually, on the racing cabs, the wheel, when the force feedback pulls, it really pulls electricity. But my plan originally was to have three, uh, three breakers dedicated just for the games and one for the air conditioning. So that was gonna be like, I guess, technically 80 amps. The problem is though, there's just nothing open in that panel. Like I couldn't even add uh, a 20 amp breaker to it. It's completely full with my house stuff. He's gonna combo break me for sure. Nope. We'll just do a crappy ultra. Yes, they, they definitely draw it. So. I may not need three breakers. If I have to compromise, I'll go down to two for, you know, real cabinets and all the other stuff. But I want three breakers for future proofing. What if I decide suddenly like screw arcade one ups and go full real cabinets in there? I still think it'd be enough power, but still. Night Yoshi, I don't even remember what your suggestion was. I've seen a few of them so far. Um, I can't remember. None of them have been like anything that I was like, oh, that's genius yet. So we'll see. Lady Cag said she saw one she liked, and I can't remember which one it was either. I'll know it when I see it. How's that? Ooh, got me. Lady Cag's rocking the house in there. Here's some bass. The only thing that's going to be weird about having the shed cave, by the way, is... Hold on. Oh, it doesn't count as an ultimate when that happens. Drives me insane. Um, it's gonna be kind of lonely out there. I know it's stupid, I'm like 20 feet from the house. But you know, like when I'm in my room currently, my cat hangs out with me, kitty keg. Oh wait, we're gonna beat it with thunder this time. Uh, I'll, I'll take him within like an inch of his life though, just for fun. 
Um, she hangs out with me, so I'm gonna have to like bring her out there with me every now and then, so she'll feel happy. She likes being in there while I play games, and I think she'll love to check out an arcade. Like she'll probably get into trouble. I know she'll end up climbing behind the arcades and probably get stuck and almost kill herself. Robots don't like boobs. They probably see them as totally un unnecessary. You could cut that out now. Jeez. I'll still beat him, look. Or at least come close to beating him. And then, you know, Lady Keg is in the house. I'll be out in the shed, but ultimately it's gonna be better. I think somebody asked me earlier why, Oklahoma, or what about Oklahoma? I was in Oklahoma for a, a concert, and then I went up to Bentonville, Arkansas to ride my mountain bike with my friend. <laughs> All right, we're, I'm gonna let him kill me. Uh, PR Gamer, thank you, CAG, for answering my question about the MK1 board. I don't even remember what I answered, but hopefully it was helpful. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I don't have to do a two-player now. Gotta pick a good color. I like his blue pants. Oh, blue pants. You got to hate it. You have to build <laughs> build a tunnel that connects from the house to the shed cave for the cat. That would actually be really cool. Like one of those clear tubes that goes from like our upstairs bedroom, and then like there's a hole in the ceiling. She just drops in. The poor old lady's too old to do anything that exciting, though. She is uh, getting pretty frail, unfortunately. I feel really sad because I know she's not going to be with us much longer. And I don't want her to be miserable either, so we're trying to find when that point comes, but she seems okay for now. She seems happy. She's just blind and deaf practically, and it sucks when they get old. I mean, she's been with us the entire time we've been together too, so it's like, it's almost like our kid's dying. It's very sad. Uh-oh, I'm stuck in the corner. Never good. No way that worked. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> yeah, I'm living the life. Uh, I do a lot of short trips like that. I did that over three nights. That was it. Dallas was Friday night. Uh, I went to two arcades on Dal in Dallas. I went to Tornado Terry's, Side Arcade, Dallas. And then I uh, woke up the next day. I didn't have much going on Saturday, the day of the concert. But, oh, so I went back to Side Arcade for a little bit because I had a free entry. And um, then I actually went to Dallas. The concert was at a casino, Choctaw Casino. And... I lost like $70 there, that was fun. Um, but, you know, the, the stupid machines, they get you going at first, like, all right, he's dead. Let's hit him in the sack and call it, bam. Those machines get you. The Wheel of Fortune machine, I put my money in it, let me spin the wheels, like, oh, I'm gonna be a rich person. And I won a whopping like 70 something dollars and I was on top of the world. It's like, this, this winning streak's never gonna end. I'm gonna be rich from this machine, and sure enough, I was like, okay, I lost my money, I need to leave. Luckily, I don't like losing money, so I got out of there very quickly. But I had like six hours to kill before the concert, so I just walked all over that place. I walked like five miles through that casino. Let me shut up. Pretty dark. Spinal makes a cameo. Evil little bastard. Or can it? Uh, but yeah, and then after the concert, actually, I slept in my truck in the in the camper shell part. I slept in there in the parking lot illegally. So I was like, crap, I'm not getting, I can't stay anywhere. I'm definitely not going to this stupid uh, hotel and paying, it was like $500 a night. I was like, what? Maybe because the concert, I don't know. But I slept back there and all night long, people were honking like, You'd think these guys were so excited about the concert. At one in the morning, the concert ended at 11. I'm like finally falling asleep and I hear some dude come out screaming like, yeah! It's like, shut up, dude. I'm trying to get a nice, good night's sleep out here. And luckily nobody told me to leave. So that was nice. I was like hobo camping. Um, but yeah, then I go to Bentonville and I camped in my truck there too, even though my very nice friend offered me his place in his house. But it's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm a weirdo. I like to sleep in my own little space. Even if I'm outdoors all night long, it's very weird. I'm odd. I'll sleep in your driveway. How's that? He offered me that too, but I'd already paid for the campsite. <laughs> if you got a pretty level driveway, I'm coming to town, buddy. I'll sleep in your driveway and I'll poop in your bathroom in the morning. It'll be cool. Uh, game vet. This reminds me of s selling move lists to people in arcades. Yep. I did the exact same thing. Um, I would get the magazines. I'd type them out 
use my parents' dot matrix printer, staple it all together, and I'd be like, hey man, you having some, oh, bumped camera. You having some trouble learning these Mortal Kombat moves, huh? I've got a, you know, $2 right here. You can pay me in tokens, I don't care. So I can keep playing, I was like hustling to keep playing arcade games. <laughs> Hashtag hobo keg. That's me. I sleep, I, I love living, not love it, but like I can live, uh oh, kitty keg's coming. I love living like a homeless guy on the road. I did five nights like that last year. It was fun. I didn't complain at all. I could I could have done that for a month if I had to. We have Lady Cag and Kitty Cag. We were just talking about Kitty Cag. Were you watching? No. Oh. She's by the door. Poor old lady. I was telling them how old she's getting. Let me switch sides with her. We'll take a little Kitty Cag break. I may play a little bit more, but I got to wrap it up here soon. Ah, Wicked Arcade with my custom emojis. Midway logo and KI logo. Is she on there? Yeah, I see her, yeah. You'll see her in a second. There she is. Meow! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, make it, chatting. <laughs> Poor old lady. I was telling him how sad I am that when I have the shed, I'm gonna have to bring her out there with me because we can't hang out anymore while I play games. Yeah. Oh, she's shedding all over Killer Instinct. Key cat. <laughs> Night Yoshi, I wish Cag would sleep in my driveway just so I could say someone slept in my driveway. Yeah, I'm nuts. I told him, uh, I told him how weird I am, like I don't, Kyle said I could sleep at his house, and I was like, I'm good, I'll, I'll sleep, and I was joking with him, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll sleep in your driveway, I almost was going to put the word out in Oklahoma if I got kicked out, Be like, hey, I need a backup, if anyone lives in Durant, Oklahoma, by chance, I'll come sleep at your driveway. <laughs> she's jumping up the storm. Yeah, she's just an old performer, look at her. All right, people are going to get tired of seeing her. <laughs> she's chuffing big time there. All right. All right. She was by the door, so that's why I brought her up. She can hear me out here playing Killer Instinct. She's like, why isn't he playing it in the room with me? All right. Oh, yeah, big hairball. <laughs> KI's going to need a dusting. I'll play a little more, and then i got to wrap it up. I've been going longer than I already planned. Bye, Katie. The whole CAG crew, Zach says. Uh, I should keep it going. There you go. Zach, she said hi. I don't know if you heard. Um... Keep it going a full 24-7. You're crazy. You know what? Let's just do big combos just for fun. I'm going to try to nail this TJ Combo Ultra. Just by chance. I know there's only 43 people here right now. Anybody live in Durant, Oklahoma? <laughs> I was genuinely about to put the word out. I was like, what if I get kicked out of here and I have nowhere to go to sleep? I need my sleep. I'm an old man, you know? This, the sound of this dog getting beat up makes Kitty Cag very happy. Not really. I'm sure she's probably like freaked out about it. All right, thanks, Gamer Guts. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a. I'll do his shadow move. I'm holding Fierce Punch. I'm going to hit back forward and release it. He moves quickly, and it usually stuns them. Let me go all the way across and see what happens. 24 hour stream the cat. She would be very boring. That poor old lady sleeps like more than probably 19 hours a day now. Here we go. Look at him. Flash lightning or flash Gordon. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, let's get this ultra done. Oh, come on. Still not enough damage yet. I will give a lady cag a fist bump. I'm crazy yet you sleep in people's driveway. I haven't done it yet. But honestly, I thought about making an app. Be like, hey, hold on. Oh, mother. My ultra went away anyway. I thought about making an app. Be like, hey, rent your driveway out to people overnight. <laughs> Can I just sleep in your driveway? Like, that's half the part of my truck camping stuff is I need a safe place to sleep, but that's about it, you know? And I, I don't need to use your bathroom necessarily. I'd rather just, you know, not bother anybody. I'll just sleep in my truck. Such a cute kitty, I just saw that. Do a full stream of her. Yeah, people do not, people get bored of that stuff quickly is what's funny. Like, stop showing your stupid cat, I'll play some games. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to do this one-handed, which is very difficult, and the camera's in the way. I'm actually pretty good at playing both sides, but there we go. Can we get a hot tub live stream, JoJo? No, you can't now, I just put it away. Well, it's empty on my back patio. I'm going to pack it up tomorrow and put it in storage. The June bugs just kept attacking me, and I was so tired of it. I was like, screw it. I can't enjoy my night. I get hit with a June bug in the face while I'm trying to watch TV. 
And then my TV blew over and almost landed in the hot tub. It's like, what the heck is happening here? A huge gust of wind came, scratched up the TV because it almost landed in the tub, but I caught it. I was like, this is a sign. If this thing had gone in the tub, I might've gotten like killed. I don't know. Oh, this is a bad spot. Let me chip his life away. There we go. I feel like he's gonna go off the edge and just screw this combo up. Oh boy. What is going on? Still caught him there. Kitty Cag, or Kitty Arcade Games 2022 Cag rebranding, yeah. You gotta see the killer kitty condo. <laughs> That's a lot of, a lot of kitties. What? How did I get a combo qualify for that? I didn't even see how big was that Ultra. Wait, I'm so confused. I usually, I've already filled up all the spots. That was weird. So let's, let's try one last time. Sounds like you had an eventful night. You've had an eventful night. I've had an eventful few nights lately, and that's for sure. Got him. Got him. So what's the deal with the electrical again? Okay. So the problem is, it looks like when you open the panel outside, it looks like there's more spots to expand. Like to put, you know, whatever more breakers I need in for the outdoor stuff. Problem is when you take the actual panel off and look behind it, that's it. Every single slot is used or I have to upgrade the whole thing. My uh, neighbor was, who's an electrician was like, let's just take you up to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 200 amp service. And I was like, all right, because I don't even think I have 200 amp service right now. So first thing that's going to cost a bunch of money right there. He actually said it's probably not that bad because he's going to do it all for me, but uh, too bad he doesn't really like video games and be like, I should have him over for when it's all done. Everyone who helped gets to come over and uh, play some games one night. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he said the hardest part is getting the permit. I'm, I'm not happy about that. I'm an outlaw. Not really. I'm a big loser. Why can't I nail this combo? Forget it. We're moving on. You! Um, who else do we want to do a combo? Ultra combo with. Oh, Kitty Cag Dander got me, I think. Not allergic, I don't think, but geez. Oh, well, so Cinder's Infinite, I think, might work. I'm just not very good with Cinder. Let's try it. <laughs> Are you going to put the hot tub in the shed, Cade? Also, do you plan on doing a whole build series on the shed? I'd gladly watch all that. So I do. No hot tub, though. <clears throat> I don't know what happened there. Yeah, but uh, I do plan on doing videos about the build. Uh, I screwed that up. So you gotta be really quick. This is version 1.5D, and I think they kind of fixed it, right? I mean, it can still be done, but I think it's just harder to do it. God, I'm not good enough. I screwed that all up. Sorry. There it is. <clears throat> Sunday work, I agree, but... I understand if he wants to get a permit because he's like a licensed electrician. I don't know if he'll get in trouble if we don't get a permit. I'll talk to him. We only talked over messaging uh, messenger right now because we're friends on Facebook. I mean, I know the guy, but uh, he's so I always feel bad asking him to do anything. Wait, who do we have? Saber Wolf Ultra. All right. <clears throat> they picked my color. Anyway, he's the guy who's always like doing everything for everybody in the neighborhood. So it kind of sucks. I always feel bad asking him to. <clears throat> To do stuff, you know? I mean, everybody bugs him. It's hilarious. He likes being busy, but still, it's like, eh. I, feel, I don't want to take advantage of the guy. But he already, he offered to help. Like, he said, don't uh, don't worry about any of that stuff. We'll get it done. I was like, oh, thank you, sir. I'll just repay him with uh, beer and Lady Cag treats. Good question, Zach. Does the KI Arcade 1UP Online still have a lot of people on it? I haven't been on in like two weeks practically, but I almost streamed upstairs tonight and then I turned it on, it was like two people on. So it was kind of disappointing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kind of disappointing. I don't know how it's been lately, but we'll see. I'll try it again in the next few days and see how it's doing. But not being very busy on a Saturday night is a little concerning. There we go, full combo. 
My best combo, at least. 35 hits. Pay him in Killer Instinct training, Uganda hater. He doesn't care. He doesn't seem to care about the games at all. Like, he's a little younger than me, but this dude's like all work, man. He's he's no joke. He grew up in Puerto Rico, so maybe he didn't have many arcade games there, or he just didn't care, for all I know. Who do we all, um, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Beer and Lady Cag treats. Do I even want to know what the treats are? Yes, you do, Night Yoshi. She makes the most amazing food ever. She makes, like, she made her own car caramel. I, I don't know, whatever. Caramel the other day as part of, like, a cake that she made. And she gave them some of it, and they freaked out. They were like, you can make your own? Like, so she's made them some more to keep and let them, uh, oh, I didn't get the combo breaker. It's all right. We'll see if we can figure it out. So she made them some more for, you know. There we go. No need for the cheap combo breakers. Uh, she made him some of that, and he was like, he said, just uh, just pay me in car caramel. But he also told me before, he's like, just get the beers, I'm there. I'm like, okay, I will buy you all the beers, you know. Which makes me feel bad now that I say it, because I haven't bought uh, Wicked Arcade his beers <laughs> ever. I just don't drink beer, so I don't ever think about, I don't know anything about beer. I'm like, whatever you want, just let me know, and I'll try to buy it. Game City Club, hi, I'm from Brazil, big fan of your channel. I loved... Killer Instinct and MKs, yeah. From Brazil, nice. Are you still in Brazil by any chance? I can't seem to make that connect on this cabinet. Hey, PR Gamer with the $1.99 Super Chat. Big thank you for everything you do, gracias. Well, thank you very much, PR Gamer. Every bit's helping nowadays. I'm spending and spending. <laughs> I messed it up. Thank you very much for the Super Chat. I didn't hear my ultra combo. Is my sound on? It is, I should be able to hear it. Can she make Reese's Puffs or cheese, Puffs cheese cupcake, what? <laughs> she does make her own cheesecake? I don't know, like she actually makes cheesecake from scratch, so that's cool, but I don't know if that's what you meant. Let's try this again, let's try it against Orchid. Oh, okay, cheese cupcakes, she could, I guarantee you, guarantee you, if you gave her a recipe, she could make it. She's like, there was a time where she wanted to be a chef, and you wonder why I'm fat, right, guys? Well, I'm telling you, if you saw the food I make, and if you follow me on Instagram, occasionally I'll post it there like every, every other person in the world, but uh, yeah, she makes some crazy good stuff. Like, when she makes burgers, she takes a nice cut of meat and actually grinds it up because she... She will not eat a ground beef burger. She thinks it's freaky. Like, unless she grinds it herself, of course. She's really weird about that stuff. Which is a, oh wait, can I get this combo? Hold on. Ah, oh, come on. Hold on. Love that, that was a good combo. See my videos and channel, wait, see my videos in my channel for, oh, okay, cool. I'll try to remember to check that out. What is the deal with this Ultra tonight? I cannot nail it. Let's keep going. Let's try one more time with Riptor. Game City Club, your English is not good. Sorry, don't worry about it. I, I know what you mean. Uh-oh, I hit the camera again. <clears throat> Voice is going, so I gotta wrap it up tonight. Reese's Puffs Cheese Cake cupcakes. I, st I wouldn't even know what that is, to be honest with you, but if she if she could probably make it. Like, you know how excited I get when she's making dinner? I'm just like, oh yes, something's coming. Uh, Zach says, what is the producer section of the shed cake going to look like? Ooh, I didn't even think of that. She has a chair, I'll give her a chair, because every bit of that shed cake is gonna be arcade stuff. Well, not true, my drums are going in there, for now at least. <clears throat> but I'm gonna make sure she has a little producer section. I don't know, I don't know why she's not on the channel much anymore. She doesn't really do her producer duties these days. I think she said something about the pay not being as good. There it is. 30, 31, I think that's my best, yeah. Not Yoshi, she won't eat ground beef unless she grinds, grinds it herself. That's very odd, but okay. Yeah, well, she does not, she's almost like, it's amazing she even eats meat because she finds eating some meats kind of creepy, like with chicken. If she's making chicken, she goes through that every single piece of chicken, cuts out the creepy, any creepy bit she finds, gets rid of it all. So that's another reason I like eating her food because she will make sure 
there's not going to be like a weird crunchy part in the chicken that you're disgusting about. <clears throat> I'm not picky, clearly I'm fat. Hold on. Got it. Um, so like, I'm just the garbage disposal, like bring it on, I'll eat it, whatever. And she is kind of picky, but she'll still make me stuff I want even if she's not interested. Okay, Night Yoshi asks, is the Star Wars arcade one up going in the shed as well? Um, it isn't because it's kind of a fixture of the living room and she's very happy with it still being in the living room. She calls that her cabinet, so I, I don't have a lot of say in it, but uh, I'm actually happy it's staying in there because I like to play games. It's nice to have some games in the house, like when she's making dinner, like I've said before, which I get very excited about. We'll usually put like a... We're hipsters now, apparently. We'll put a vinyl record on, and then we'll just hang out. I'll play video games while she makes dinner. It's a very nice, fun experience, and I just love having that in there, so it's really nice. That cabinet was donated by a lovely subscriber a while back, actually. God, we've had it a while now, I guess. But yeah, somebody, they didn't want to be named, sent me, a, uh, sent me the money to buy the cabinet. I was so shocked by that. Very nice. I don't ever, I don't say that enough, I don't feel like. I don't, it's hard because I can't give credit to the person. <laughs> um, but yeah, every time I play that cabinet, that person should know, I'm always like, I can't believe, I probably wouldn't have ever gotten it, uh, or she wouldn't have gotten it. That's really her cabinet, like I said, if that person hadn't donated it. Because we were like, eh, should we really spend the money? I don't know. What am I doing? I'm going to try Thunder again, I guess. <clears throat> Hey, Alexis. You're a little late, unfortunately, but I'm probably gonna wrap it up soon, but you can always watch the replay if you want. I'm just doing combos at this point. I already beat the game three times. I'm just messing around now. Try to get these ultras. <clears throat> okay, I take it back. Lady Cag sounds like the most amazing cook ever. I'm the same way when it comes to chicken. Yeah, chicken's weird. I've, I've never cooked a piece of chicken in my life that wasn't like, just throw it in the micro or not microwave, but like throw it in the air fryer or the oven kind of thing. I've done that, pre-made stuff, but I've never cooked a piece of raw chicken in my whole life. I mean, we got together when I was you know, only like 20, so before that, my eating was not good because I didn't know how to cook. Um, oh, PR Gamer, I'm in Porter. Okay, I just heard something. Oh my God, there's a June bug in here. I heard that son of a bee. Now I'm scared, guys. I'm the big bad pest control guy, but I hate June bugs. Ugh. This, oh, he better not come over here. This is gonna suck. If he flies over here and I go running like a girl, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I hear it moving. Oh, I missed the ultra. Now I gotta figure out where this thing is. Oh, I'm like, where's my flashlight? I'm gonna turn the flashlight on. Oh wait, I heard it. Ow, oh, it's on my KI. Now it's on the light. This is bad. <laughs> Where the heck did it go? I don't know why I hate these things so much. They're just erratic. That's what I hate the most. There he is. He is on the plastic. <sighs> well guys, I'm big, kill him. You got a hater. Hold on, I'm gonna get back to the chat. What's a June bug? It's the worst invention of Christ. No, it's a, uh, it's just like a flying beetle. It's uh, the reason I hate them is they're so erratic. You don't know they're the worst flyers. It's like a drunk pilot. You don't know where this thing's gonna land, and it always seems to try to land on my face. I'm like, get the, get out of here. I'm so distracted right now, but I can play Ki distracted. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna try to focus here. Zach says you all still compete on, on Star Wars games. We do. Where did it go? Jesus, this is embarrassing. Hopefully you guys are getting a laugh out of it at least. Um, we definitely do compete. <laughs> oh my God, I hear it. It's like buzzing around down there like next to my killer instinct. Here we go, hold on, ultra combo while I'm distracted. We still have not beaten each other's high score though. Like her high score that she set is still maxed out at that. I didn't get all the hits. Um, he went like under my killer instinct. And I'm all itchy. Like you're talking to a guy who goes into places that are full of roaches and for some reason this bothers me. I don't know why. You don't know what a June bug is? 
Oh, Alexis, I wish I was in the shed, Kate. It's not even built yet. I'm in the garage, which is why June bugs are getting in. I had the door open a little bit too late, and that was a huge mistake. I got so distracted, though. He's, like, behind the game. I'm just going to not worry about it. Hey, that's my move. I howl. But, yeah, we haven't beat... I can't beat her score. She can't beat her score on... on uh, Star Wars is like she maxed out. We finally hit the ceiling, I guess, and we can't get any better. So now we just get mad at each other, like, how come we can't get this anymore? Oh, wait, let's try that. Let me try this Ultra. I'm gonna let him combo me. Nope, didn't work. Uh, but yeah, I, I wish I didn't know what a June... That was embarrassing. The bats flying around, I thought it was the June bug on scratching my nose. I can't crush the darn thing, Night Yoshi. It's back there behind my laptop, behind the lights, the camera, the action. Oh well, he's behind the cabinet. Or was I? I was doing combos, man. He messed me all up. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, I wish I lived somewhere where there weren't June bugs. I think my new neighbors are from the Washington State area. They're like, what's a June bug? Like, is that that thing that's been buzzing around? Like, yep, the thing from hell, yes, that's it. <clears throat> oh, boy. I don't, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up soon anyway, guys. I'm gonna do, uh, let's just do this for fun. We already did it once, but let's do her 48 hit ultra. Like, push KI back and squish that bastard underneath this beast of a cabinet. All right. Don't say that, Uganda hater. <laughs> just saw that. One time I was in the hot tub, and uh, I did feel something on my shoulder, and it I felt a tickle, let's say that. And it was a June bug floating in the water, like, tapping me on the shoulder. It was ridiculous. They're not dangerous or anything. It's just they freak me out because I don't know where they're going to land. That's, the, that's my biggest fear, I think, inconsistency. I guess I'm a control freak, right? That's what that means? I like to be in control of what's happening. Oh, which is probably why I sleep in my vehicle everywhere I go. Oh, they're in Ohio. Oh, good question from Zach. Hey, Matt Hunter's here. Damn you, Uganda Hunter, you got me all freaked out now. Anyway, uh, good question from Zach. Did you ever think about not showing your face when you started YouTube? Then you could have done a face reveal video. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. I never thought of it. Actually, was I even in that first video I did? I'd have to go back and look. Um, I had just started at that point getting more comfortable with being seen on camera because I had my other channel, my mountain biking channel, and really I wasn't seen in those videos very much because the camera was typically attached to my chest or helmet. And, uh, hold on, let me make sure I nail this. I didn't nail it. That's 47 hits. It didn't even tell me. It's a glitch. It didn't even say ultra. Uh, but, you know, occasionally I would stand in front of the camera and talk, and I was barely getting comfortable with that. Or I'd be on my friend's channel is mountain biking channel and i would do we actually did like a comment not a comedy sketch what am i a hundred um we did like a little comedy routine one time where we were acting at his house and that was rough but i was in it and that started making me feel better i never really thought one way or the other not to be in it. if anything i thought hey stupid force yourself to get over your stupid fear of being on camera and just be in your videos because people watch videos more when they know who you are i guess Random select, let's do an ultra randomly. All right, not the greatest, but it'll work. See you later, Alan's Aegis Arcades. Oh, that's right, Jay, Jay, were you the one earlier? Somebody dropped in and said they're from New Zealand and I saw it, but I forgot to say something. No broken ultras. Um, I know, I know I have a, what is it? What's this ultra? TJ Combo's ultra where it doesn't connect all the time. And it'll just do the ultra when you like either way up in the air. There's my ultra with him. I should have tried to get the extra hit. <clears throat> oh, Night Yoshi, I just saw your message. Um, still looking for it, by the way. I don't know where it went. I don't hear it anymore. Um, full gore. <laughs> Was that your other one? Full gore skills. I'll try. I don't have. I cannot get. I had a combo for a short time that I knew with full gore, but we'll do it a little bit. We'll do a little full gore. Young Chaos. 
Thought I heard it again. Young Chaos. I hate being in photos. I do too. I don't know why. You know, it's like... I think it's because that no matter what, you have like a, at least for me, you have a vision of what you look like and then you see yourself like, ugh, that's not what I thought I looked like. So, <laughs> yeah, you def definitely called that, Matt Yoshi. So yeah, you get in a picture, which I'm sure this is going to happen. I'm sure like if I meet, I do the meetup, somebody's going to want to take a picture and I'll be like, oh, okay. And then I'm going to see my picture later, like, oh, I'm so fat. What's wrong with you? Okay, how do you do this combo? I keep, I think I'm doing that wrong. Oh well, we'll just go into the Ultra. That's all I got for now. I'll get better, I swear. Oh, I thought I nailed it. Perfect. Uh, probably get to put my initials in or it's already in, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up soon. Let's do one more random select and see who we get. We'll do it. See if I can nail this ultra finally. I'm gonna find this stupid June bug in here dead tomorrow and kick him out. I actually went to a lady's house for work the other or yesterday. Was that yesterday? Yeah. And she was calling us because she had so many June bugs. And I was like, uh, I don't think this is gonna help much because they fly, but she had like a hundred of them dead on her porch. I was like, okay, I could see why you want to give it a shot anyway. I'm just gonna wrap, blow through this so I can make sure I get this combo done. I might be able to land this full ultra, let's see. Ah. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't nail it. There's a broken ultra for you. Still caught him with the extra hits, though, 40 hits. We're gonna try again, because I want to get this one done tonight. Where was it? Night Yoshi, uh, I hate being in photos as well, unless I'm in a cosplay. Oh, that's a good idea. I should just show up everywhere in cosplay. Be like, hey, you can't see me. <laughs> Gone to hater. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm, I'm this bothered by this. Um, you're going to come back tomorrow and the June bug is going to have some homies with him. Yeah, he's going to be uh, taking over my games. Like, he'll probably die on the deck and I'll be like, you bastard. I hate you. Zach, I don't think I told you, but... Oh, you ordered a Silver Strike bowling cabinet. It should be here next... It should be here next week. Wow. I want Silver Strike. Like a full-size Silver Strike? I messed that all up. Are they making those new still, or did you just happen to find one for sale? Ah. I should show up to a meetup dressed as combo. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go well. Especially if I do the blackface. Yeah, I think people nowadays would love that, right? That was interesting. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to get it. Or not. Starting off wrong already. Oh, nailed it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Come on, give me these extra. Oh my god, went off the stupid rooftop. I had it. I had it right there that close. Finally got it, and then it messed up. One more try. So last questions, get them in now. <clears throat> I like playing against Orchid on her stage. I should have done Saberwolf though. Someone's told me Saberwolf actually takes longer to fall. I'm still so shocked that I have a real KI cabinet. I can't get over it. Some days I come out for work because I put my boots on out here and leave. And I'm just like, man, I actually have some arcade games now. This is really cool. Well, I'll take it. Hey, uh, did I not get the combo breaker? What the heck? Full size, 2009 version found on eBay for a good price. Nice. Zach, dare I ask how much the shipping was? <laughs> or are you gonna, well, you're getting it delivered, I think you said. Uh-oh. Matt Hunter. Oh, he laughed, I see that. 
You kind of hit her? Yeah, if he's he turns on my KI, we're gonna have problems. Here we go, here we go. Oh, two times in a row. Can we land? Oh, don't you fall off that roof. Okay, went the other way. Nailed it, that's 42. Okay, got it. That's my best, I know there's better, but that's my best. That was... Oh, okay. Night Yoshi, you're actually discussing buying a real Primal Rage cabinet yourself, so you may be joining the club soon. Do it. All right, guys, I, I've been going for almost two hours. I didn't even plan to do that. I think I should probably wrap it up. Thank you very much for the super chats. Thanks to the people who are members, the donors for the Shedcade. Very, very helpful stuff. I'm gonna let him beat me so I can get my initials in again. But I think I should wrap it up before this June bug eats me, wherever the heck it may be. Hold on, I, I hate letting the AI get a perfect victory on me, so we gotta give him a little bit. Ooh, that was weird. I've noticed it's hard to hit uh, Cinder with air combos. He just, he flies away so you can't nail that second hit. Anyway. Okay, he's not beating me both rounds. We'll say that. Or, I'm not letting him go that way. All right. Thank you, guys. Matt Hunter, have a good night. You got a stream. Are you got a hater? It's been a good, great stream as always. Go for five quadrillion hours. <laughs> yeah, not happening. Zach enjoyed as always. Definitely send a picture, Zach. I want to see this. Look at this. He's just too easy. I'm still going to let him win, though. All right. I'm done. Well, guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more arcade content. Watch me hit this lava bath real quick. And uh, give the stream a thumbs up. It's kind of late now, I guess. But keep, keep uh, watching the channel. I think somebody asked me earlier. I never really got too deep into it. I'm definitely going to do a build series on the Shedcade. Um, I don't know how detailed I'll get on the videos, but you'll see the phases of the building, like the electrical going in, probably the electrical being changed on my house. We're gonna have to trench to get the wire back there. The internet's gotta go in. Then we're gonna insulate it, uh, insulate it, drywall it, air condition it. And I think that should be it. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the flooring yet. I gotta figure that out as we go and see how much all that's gonna cost. I'd love to put some carpet down, like some, um, some of that like arcade carpet, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. <clears throat> Either way, I will uh, show you guys for sure. You'll see the process and everything. Key Flats, thanks for hanging out. Calgary, thank you for hanging out. Night Yoshi, I'm sure the next time you come into your garage at June Bowl, we'll be playing your Hydro Thunder. Oh, it better not beat all my high scores. My high scores were still on the Tornado Terry's machines when I went there. I hadn't been there in well over a year. They were still there, even on the KI they were there too. So I was like, all right, no one's been very good here apparently. Anyway, wait. Oh, okay, you're looking forward to that series, okay. Thank you guys so much, I am beat. I'm gonna pack this up and go hang out with Lady Cag tonight. Thank you guys, Wicked Arcade, thank you. We gotta work on my Hydro Thunder one of these days. I forgot to even ask you about it for this weekend, so don't worry about it. But we'll do it soon, we gotta get that cap kit installed, because. I'm not running it just so I don't, maybe that'll help the flyback last longer. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, have a good rest.